Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 10 minutes after 6, and September as a whole has been a very warm month, but topping out in the upper 80s a couple times. 88 degrees was the warmest that we've been. Uh, that was on the 15th and 16th. Now, we did, of course, have some cooler days, or at least cooler mornings. 37 was the coolest we've been. Taking into account high and low temperature throughout the month, we are about 5 degrees above where we should be, tying us for the sixth warmest on record. Mind you, those records go back to the late 1800s. And speaking of, this past Saturday, we hit 86 degrees. That tied a record that was set back in the late 1800s. Very long-standing record. But not only has it been warm, it's been very dry as well. We're more than an inch and a half shy of where we should be. And most of this, 1.81 inches that we've gotten throughout the month, most of that has come within a span of just two days. Uh, the rest of the days that we did have any measurable rainfall were just a couple hundredths of an inch here and there. Now, we do have a front that's expected to roll through later on this afternoon and evening. That'll shift our winds out of the northwest, giving us a bit of a cooler start to the month of October. Very fitting, of course. But dry weather expect to continue. This front, not really a lot of moisture behind it, may bring just a couple clouds to the area through the overnight. But tomorrow gives way to more sunshine yet again. Now, out ahead of that front, winds are going to pick up quite a bit out of the south. And that's what will push our temperatures up pretty quickly later this afternoon. For the morning, we're starting off not too, too far from where we should be starting off a late September morning. Getting into the mid-60s, however, by the mid-morning hours, that's pretty close to where we should be topping out. Uh, for the afternoon. Starting off at 50, though, and some spots in our lower elevations in the lower 40s, 41 in Black River Falls, 42 in Toma. Meanwhile, La Crosse sitting at 56 degrees. For the time being, winds are very light. Still quite a few places reporting calm winds, but some are starting to pick up a little bit further towards the west, and these winds will be anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour for the sustained winds later this afternoon. With high pressure still in the vicinity, however, that's keeping us mainly clear, and that's been the case over this stretch of days. Again, we've seen plenty of sunshine, really haven't seen too many clouds, which will be the case for today. Winds pick up out of the south. There's that front moving through later this evening, bringing just a few clouds to the area, not expecting any rain out of this. Again, not a lot of moisture, but winds pick up out of the northwest going into tomorrow morning. And we keep that, those breezy winds throughout tomorrow afternoon as well. A few clouds may start to trickle in later in the afternoon into the evening, but still staying dry. And then on Wednesday, winds pick back up out of the south, warming us back up. So we have a little bit of a roller coaster ride in terms of our temperatures over the next couple of days. Today, getting pretty close to a record. Our record high for today in Eau Claire is 85 degrees, forecast to get to 83. A lot of us are expected to top out in the lower 80s. Later tonight, falling to the upper 40s. That's, again, a little bit more where we should be for this time of year for our overnight lows. Tomorrow in the mid-60s, bouncing back up to the mid-70s in the Cooley region. Again, the constants here are going to be the winds and the sunshine. And a couple days after that, in the Chippewa Valley, cooling back down to the mid to upper 60s to wrap up the work week. We'll have some upper 30s Friday night into Saturday, but warming back up to the mid-70s by Saturday afternoon. Now for a Sunshine Award, Melissa Graves would like to nominate the Certified Nurse Midwives of Marshfield Clinic in Eau Claire and says these midwives really need recognition. They go above and beyond. They care about you and would do anything to help you. They're with you through everything, and I can't thank them enough. The labor and delivery workers are rock stars also. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.